Hello everybody, Chime Time here. I noticed that my channel released, uh, hit 500 subscribers. Thank you all so much. So for my 500 subscriber celebration, I'm going to be going an in-depth review into all my clocks. You can hear them in the background. But, why am I in the bathroom, you might be asking. Yeah, I'm doing a full in-depth review of all my clocks to celebrate, and as promised, I will be, um you know, saving up for that grandfather clock. But, why am I starting in the bathroom? Well, I have a clock in here. This is a, that's not it, but this is a uh, Westminster Chime uh, Ergo schoolhouse clock. It's actually about to go, so we're gonna listen to it do its uh, quarter strike. You can hear the others in the in the room doing their quarter striking. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Let's take a look at this for a moment. Um, I found this... Well, no, actually, no, I didn't find it. My friend found it at a thrift store, and he pointed it out to me. We were at uh, the Salvation Army over by... I think that Best Buy, just up the street by that superstore. You guys don't know where it is, because you don't live here, but... Uh, we found this at a Salvation Army. Um, and he ran over, he saw this lying down on its back, and he showed it to me. And I was like, okay, this was meant to be a replacement to the pillar and scroll when the pillar and scroll finally stops working fully. And yeah, if you guys haven't seen my video, the clock that started at all, this looks almost exactly like my aunt's clock. So that's another reason why I bought it. And the reason why it's in the bathroom is the hands are starting to do something. You know how the Kundo... You know, there's a problem with the Kundo where you can't change the clock by hand anymore. Uh, yeah, this one has that problem as well. So this one is in the bathroom for that reason. Mainly because I don't want to be taking it out the battery a lot in this one. And yeah, this one works beautifully. There's the pendulum. And as you heard, it kind of spoke for itself. This is a quarter striking clock. So yeah. Enough in the bathroom. Let's go into the clock room, shall we? Oh, yeah. Beautiful ticking sounds. Alright, let's start over on the shelf over here. We have this unknown mechanical alarm clock. I got this at a thrift store as well. It does work. Kind of see the escapement from there. I got this because I wanted another mechanical twin bell, but unfortunately the actual alarm part doesn't work. But yeah, nothing really too much to say about this one. And then we got this West Clock's travel clock that I got at a Salvation Army. Yep, you can see the tag in there. It was four dollars. You can actually kind of see the movement inside a little bit. I think this side you can actually see it a little bit more. Yep. These clocks actually wound down really fast, which kind of annoys me. And it, I got this one because I wanted a mechanic, another mechanical travel clock. I used to have one, but the alarm. The, the winding thing actually broke on it, so... Unfortunately, that one was garbage. Let me show you guys the back. That's where you wind it. That's where you change the, the time. That's where you change the alarm. The stop and start switch. Yeah, by the way, sit back and relax, because this will be a long video. We have another one here. This is a... Sturtum? Sturum? I don't know how to say that name. 
But this is also, this is a round mechanical one. You can kind of see the escapement in there. Yeah, you can see it in there. But this one... Is a alarm clock. This one I have to wind constantly as well, which is a shame. But I mean, with all mechanical alarm clocks, you gotta wind them at some point. I think I also found this one at an uh, at a thrift store. Um, about this one mainly because I lost my other uh, round mechanical alarm clock. Moving on, we got this weird unknown. Uh, mantle clock here. This is a weird one because of the pendulum. I bought this one mainly because of the pendulum. Yeah. Here's the back. You can see, um, it's battery powered, obviously. Nothing really too much to say about this one other than I got this one also at an antique or thrift store. Sorry. And we got a um, radio clock that's not turned on. It's a digital alarm clock which is not turned on. But I got this one mainly because it looks old. Yeah. Next we got this unknown one. Oh, yeah. I also got this one at a thrift store as well. There's like, I, I might, I think my review of this one is still up. But I think I would like want an in-depth review of this one. Next we have this unknown one. I, don't, I can't really say too much about this one except like it flips around to the back. So you can see. And I got this one also at a thrift store. Alright, now we're getting to the stuff that I can actually uh, talk more about. Let's start on the top. This is my Forestville Westminster Chime uh, Smith Anfield. I love this clock so much, mainly because of its sound and the fact that it still works. Uh, I found out that Forestville is actually a Canadian company, as you can see, made in Canada. And this clock still works, it still chimes. I can actually show you the back on this one. As you can see, there's the chime rods. It only has four chime rods. Which is pretty neat. And this one chimes beautifully. You can see in my review if you want. Next we got this giant pillar and scroll clock. This is a Westminster chime clock it has the same um movement as the ergo and it sounds the same as the ergo um this one is actually the first um this one is actually the second clock i got that sounds like the clocks that sound like this um this was actually my first quarter striking variant which i was very happy about and my stepmom got this for me this spire right here was actually broken off and i hot glued it I didn't do too bad job of it, but um, yeah, I, I really like this clock because of the fact that like the story behind it. So when I got this, I had no idea if it chimed. I took the ba uh, there was like a back on it that was screwed on. So what I did is I felt the top and I felt the little cylinder that makes the clock chime, and I was like, oh my god. So, <laughs> and when I first heard this, also, it did used to have a second hand, but I don't know where it went, but this clock is homemade, which is why it doesn't have a brand, and which is why it looks a little odd, but I don't even know where this, whoever made this, I don't know where they got the movement for it, I want to know where you get the movement for that, but, um, yeah, this clock still works, it does have issues, though, sometimes, like, it doesn't chime when it hits the 12, but... You just have to keep trying until you get it chiming, I guess. I wish I could have this one going all the time, but unfortunately, I can't. Next, we have my first ever Westminster Chime anniversary clock. This is a Kundo. The back is a little, the back of the dome is a little damaged. 
But um, this one has two chimes. It plays Westminster and I think Ave Maria. I'm not mistaken. But this one is one of those clocks that I don't like that doesn't have an hour strike. But I got it because it's a chiming anniversary clock. Um, and we'll get to the other one in a moment. But um, here's the back. It has a battery in it. Nothing really too special about this clock. Other than... And I also got this one at a thrift store. And I got this one at the antique store. This little thing back here I got from my dad. It's a dumb little clock thing. I don't... It doesn't... It does chime, but it doesn't work. The only thing that works on it is the time. <sighs> so yeah, I, I'd rather not talk about this one. This one right here is a Belova... Westminster chime mantel clock. Now, I am usually against clocks that sound like this that don't have hour strikes, but this one is really, really nice. I really like this one. My dad gave this to me, and you can kind of see the inside. Can't really see too much. Oh, it's dusty though. Can't really see it, but you can kind of see the inside. But, uh, yeah, this one plays Westminster on the hour. Uh, no hour strike, though, unfortunately. We got this little skeleton clock thing. I got this one because it looked cool. Um, this skeleton clock, I, I call it a skeleton clock. That's what it is. Look at the second hand. That's the only reason why I bought this clock, because it reminds me of some of those grandfather clocks that have that. But yeah, it's currently a little bit behind, but I'll probably fix that later. And then we got this thing. This is a, uh, yes, that's furry art for those of you guys. Yes, that is furry art. Just don't bombard me with comments, please. I, I actually don't care. But, um, this is a Vierta, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Um, mantle clock, or no, a ball clock, excuse me. This clock I got, um, as a, as a Christmas present, I think, a birthday present, I can't remember, from my roommates. They found this at the thrift store, but unfortunately it doesn't work, but because it doesn't work, I can actually show you this clock chiming. See? It doesn't tick. I don't know how to fix that. If you guys can tell me how to fix that, please let me know down in the comments. And here's the hour. Yeah, it's not that loud. And if, as you heard, the pendulum doesn't tick when it swings. So if you guys can tell me how to fix that, please let me know down in the comments. Because uh, I actually want to try fixing that. Because I might have, or I might have just have to use this clock for parts and get a new uh, chime movement for it. Which I am willing to do. And maybe I might even turn this one into a Westminster chime clock. Who knows? I That's way far off in the future. And this one I also got for my birthday or Christmas. I don't really remember. But this is a tea clock. It's a kitchen clock, pretty much. I mean, it looks more like an outside clock, but I think it's mostly a kitchen clock. I got this for Christmas um, by my roommates as well. Now, this one has a little bit of history. Yes, that's also furry art. Um, this one... <laughs> Has a little bit of history. This is my first ever mechanical clock. And it was gifted to me by a friend of mine's mom. And yeah, this one actually, you can see the inside of it. And this one actually, let me move this to the side. I just have that there just to give free promotion to... Allosaurus Rex. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that's who made that. Here we go. Yeah. I think this one might be due for an oiling because it doesn't tick. So I'll probably, when I get clock oil, I'll probably oil it up. Oh, my battery's getting low, so we kind of got to speed through this. 
We got, oh. Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> the clock that's going off right now, this is my Kundo anniversary clock. As you can see, it's a quarter striking anniversary clock and it has that crystal bell sounding chime I really, really like. And the one that's going off beside it, we'll get to that one. But this is a quarter striking anniversary clock and I'm trying to keep this clock as alive as possible. And yeah, you bet your butt that this clock is probably not going to die anytime soon because of what I'm doing. Uh, I'll explain more of that later. But right here is a uh, Butemp mantle clock. Actually, let me plug in my charger just so my phone's not dying while I'm doing this. Ah. But this is a, this clock is, you know, probably one of my favorite anniversary clocks, as I stated before when I was on this one. This right here is my Butemp mantle clock. This has a Seiko movement in it, a modern Seiko movement. Um, and this one, I, I forgot to say where I got this one. This one I got at a thrift store for only $9. I was actually supposed to, uh, we'll get to that one. But um, this one, and we'll get to that one too. Uh, this one, I was actually not, I, I wouldn't have bought this if I didn't go to the thrift store that day. So I was supposed to check out the Richmond location uh, for Valley Village, and because I just missed the bus, I decided, you know what, why don't I go to um, my local thrift store, and I found this, and I was really excited about it. The Butemp, um, this was a clock I found at the thrift store. It didn't have a chiming movement in it at first, and then I put a Seiko movement in it, because uh, my first attempt at a Seiko was a major failure. If you guys remember, uh, I had a Seiko schoolhouse clock. I don't know if anybody remembers, but I probably will post a video of it, uh, and I'll call it, like, my deceased Seiko or something. Now, this one is pretty cool. This is a Sessions mantle clock. Now, a friend of mine gave me this, and watch. No half-hour strike. But it only strikes on the hour. I actually know Hurricanic Clocks. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. Uh, but Hurricanic Clocks was telling me that um, he has clocks that sound like that do that as well, where no hour strike, no strike on the six and strike on the twelve. I love clocks that do that because. It really feels like like this was this is what kind of started the hour strike only chiming clocks because these are old like you can tell this one's pretty old okay let's move on here this is a Daniel Dakota Westminster chime half hour strike wall clock you heard it strike earlier actually the the clock that did the one chime and then that's it yeah that was this one now this clock was given to me by a friend as a moving gift, and this was actually the first ever clock I have that sounds like the clocks that sound like this. I don't really know what to call them. I guess I could call them take aim movements, because that's what they are. But yeah. It's nice. It's actually my first schoolhouse clock I got back in the collection. The next one here is a... Daniel Dakota, another one. A schoolhouse clock. Now, this one has the chime that my grandfather clock used to have. And that's why I bought it, because I wanted that chime in my collection again. And this one actually looks really nice. For a battery operator clock, I mean, the person that crafted this really put some time into it. I will say that. Yeah, not really too much to say about that one. Moving over here, we have a Sterling and Noble mantle clock. This is another one of those clocks that does an hour only strike, and that's it. Yeah, I know I said I didn't really like these clocks, but at the same time, too, this one does look really nice as well. Moving on, we got this Daniel Dakota wall clock. I have two of them, but one of them is off the wall right now. I have to put it back up. Uh, this one I got at a thrift store. I got both of them at a thrift store because it looked like they just went together. Yeah. Yeah. Next, we have one of the mechanical wall clocks I own. This is a Ergo. 
Uh, this is a coil gong clock. I want to find a, uh, I want to find a chime rod one and then a Westminster chime one. Those are two that I also want as well, but for now, coil gong one. This is really nice because, um, you know, I just love when I get clocks with pendulums like this. I just love, like, the harp design of them. But yeah, this is a coil gong clock. Its craftsmanship is really beautiful. Not really too much to say about it, but it has a nice gong, I will say. And then we have my Daniel Dakota grandfather clock, which has a different movement in it. It used to have the movement of the uh, Daniel Dakota schoolhouse clock that you saw. Um, now, this one's currently not on because I'm out of batteries. But, um, yeah, this one also has the pendulum like that and everything. Oh, I can turn my flash on again. Next, we have this other Daniel Dakota wall clock. And this clock might actually look familiar. If you remember from my old collection, I used to have a clock that looked exactly like this. Regardless if it has the same chime or not, I'm happy to have it back. But, um, yeah, unfortunately this one doesn't have a pendulum. It doesn't even work anyway. But, um, yeah, it plays Westminster chime. It only strikes on the hour, though. Alright, now it's time for my second mechanical Westminster chime clock. This is the Solar with a hermal movement inside. That's right, it has a hermal movement and it's a timbre clock. Um, this one I got for about maybe $200 at the thrift store, or no, antique store. The reason why I got this one is because it's condition. It's in really, really nice condition. And it works beautifully. Yeah, this one plays Westminster Chime and it actually has a chime I've always wanted, actually. The classic Hermel mantle clock chime. Alright, now this. Um, this is a Seiko carriage clock. Now, the history behind this one was... I wanted this... The, there's four different variants of the clocks that sound like this. There's the, there's the quarter striking variant... There's the half hour strike variant, there's the no hour strike variant, and there's also a low pitch variant. This, so there's five variants. Uh, this one is the quarter uh, the dual the dual chime variant. So it has two chimes, Westminster and Whittington. And I'm very happy to own this one. Uh, because this was actually the first clock I found that has the quarter striking or the dual chime variant. So I'm happy to own the clock that I first found of it. Yeah, it's a nice clock. A place Westminster and Whittington, obviously, and it's a vintage Seiko. So it's a uh, vintage age when Seiko used to make clocks like this. All right, now this one is my New Haven timbre clock. This one doesn't strike with a gong; it strikes with uh, a single chime rod. Now, there's actually a really, really nice history about this clock. So the person who owns the antique store was telling me that this clock actually used to own to another collector here in British Columbia. But unfortunately, he passed away, and he gave all of it, uh, his wife called and gave all of his clocks away to the thrift store. That's why there were so many clocks when I went in. There was, like, a lot of them this time. Usually when I go in, I just find, like, maybe, like, a few. But there was a lot in there when I went back. And I picked up this one. And it works beautifully. The only problem it has is, it, is the hand has a lot of slack, so it doesn't really strike. But I think that's something I can't fix, and honestly, I don't want to, because I don't want to ruin this clock. <sighs> Up next! Whoa! I almost fell off my bed. <laughs> Up next, we have this uh, Daniel Dakota regulator. This originally had another chime movement in it, but I replaced it because um, I liked... Uh, the old one didn't work at all. Like, the clock didn't work, the pendulum didn't work. Nothing worked on it, other than the chime. So I replaced it with the movement that used to have the solar in it. And, uh, yeah. It's a nice clock. So, yeah. Up next, we have... Oh, yeah, I also found this one at a thrift store. This one is my D and Day. This one is actually my second mechanical clock. This is my D and Day 
coil gong clock. This one has probably the most beautiful gong you'll ever hear. And uh, this one was only $40, which is a pretty deal for this one. Yeah, this one still works terrifically as well. It used to have a top spire. I can feel the hole where it went into, but I guess it wasn't there. And we have the final wall clock. This is a Howard Miller East Mount uh, dual chime clock or wall clock. Now this one you did hear going off before. This is a um, one of those clocks that has the crystal bell sounding chime in it. Now, but this one is different. The anniversary clock it does have two chimes. It has Westminster and Bim Bam, but this one has Westminster and Ave Maria. Now, why am I cherishing this one more than the anniversary clock? Well, the one, the chime with Ave Maria was actually the one I grew up watching on YouTube. It's not the exact clock, but it's, but it's, it's the chime that I grew up watching on YouTube. So I'm very happy to own one that plays Ave Maria. Now I just need to find one that plays Ode to Joy. All right, we have, this is a West Clocks. Uh, anniversary clock uh, that a friend of mine gave me it doesn't really do anything it doesn't chime or anything but uh, yeah nothing really too much to say about it and finally we have this uh, eagle clock that I need to replace the battery on that my uncle used to own now this one I found at a thrift store but it's currently out of commission because um, because I need to uh, put it back together. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you all again for 500 subscribers, for, for watching my entire journey of getting this clock collection to where it is right now. Like, I am honestly so happy this collection is like this. Like, I have some of the clocks on my wish list. I have mechanical Westminster chime clocks. I have mechanical clocks as well. Like, my old collection sucked compared to this. So thank you all so much for tuning in to every time I upload a video. I'm going to try to upload more. This video is already getting long enough, so I'm going to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching, and I promise you guys the grandfather clock will come. But yeah, see you guys later.